welcome to used review uh, this is a review of everything that I've used so far fortunately for me um, this winter I've been working on a uh, project of my own it's a DIY project it's enabled me to um, buy a few products and stuff and try things out um, now I'm normally as you probably everyone is used to using these gloves um, just normal rubber gloves I mean, it's got a bit of protection, a bit of breathing uh, space there, but it's waterproof to a point. But um, recently in school fix, I've um, saw this, which seems very interesting. Um, site, it's a insulated, um, as you can see, it's insulated all the way to the tip. Um, gloves for in the winter, it's very cold outside, as you can see, I'm doing this all the time. And these were very, very useful. Um, I mean, I was surprised how good they were in the winter when I'm using it. But there are some pros and cons. Um, I'll have to go through these with you. Um, for example, if you look at the gloves itself, I mean, it's, it's a different rubber than what you're probably used to. It's more, um, I don't know, stretchy as well. But I mean, stretchy as any other rubber is. But it's, it is different. It's a bit more grippier than these ones are. But I would like to say that, you know, it is comfortable to wear. Um, it didn't say it was waterproof or not, but I've noticed that I can use it um, where there's water, uh, damp areas are. But I've noticed recently there has been some gaps that appeared on the edges after use of about two weeks. Now I must say, I've used this um, not just for work, I've used it outside when I'm out and about, which I really helped. Um, but looking at it, there are some gaps appearing in the rubber itself, so it might not be fully waterproof. Um, in terms of quality of use, it's brilliant. I recommend it to everybody. Um, but I have noticed recently, again, after putting it on, which is nice, my hands are very small, and this is a um, large size, which is quite strange. I think the size doesn't always... Uh, you've got to really wear them before you buy them with any gloves, I suppose. Um, but you can see it's opening up here and on the edges. Um, now I've noticed recently as I said if I the insulation be inside it's a separate gloves itself so when you pull it out it will this bit will come out it literally comes off it's, it's a separate part of it and if it does come off it's difficult to put it back on again but um, it's not bad at all um, and also if you use it for a long period of time it starts having the smell I don't know how to explain it's really bad smell so if you so smell your fingers afterwards it leaves a little residue smell that's the bit the only put off bit I would say is bad so two things to say uh, in negative wise which I'll get it out of the way it does crack it's not fully waterproof but in uh, you know um, and the smell apart from that I use it every day for work and when I'm out and about as well sometimes you can't notice the gloves working gloves or not so you can get away for both use I suppose um, beside that it is a good gloves to use and I recommend to anybody and anybody that needs insulated gloves in the winter I highly recommend it. It is from Screwfix and um, it is better than these because these my fingers used to get really cold. Um, only today or yesterday I said because I think it got a bit damped because it doesn't have airflow. Um, it sort of might, might get a bit sweaty inside and that's probably the smell that's where it's coming from but apart from that I love these gloves and thank you for watching this used review and hope to get some more reviews out soon. Thank you.